everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some beauty empties for you guys. I noticed that my bag was getting a little bit full here so I decided to um, do an empties video and I just kind of store my beauty empties in this Yankee Candle bag. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I have here is this is um, a new soap that I got from Bath and Body Works Insiders. It is the Fresh Picked Garden Strawberries. And as you guys can see, the container looks different. Um, I just wrote the name of my work on there because our room, because of the fact that I brought this to work with me and all the girls absolutely loved this soap. Um, it's a lot creamier. I feel like the newer formula with the foaming hand soap is just, it's like I said, more creamier, less foamy, and um, it just works really, really well, and I feel like the scent is more pungent than the old soaps. So I will definitely be repurchasing this again, and that is what the label looks like. And I have the uh, fresh tangerines at work right now, and that one is probably 10 times stronger than that one, so really happy about that. Um, the next item that I have, this is the Tresemme Hairspray. It is the Mega Firm Control, and that's what this looks like. And I picked this up on a whim just because I was out of my normal hairspray, which I normally use the John Frieda Frizz Ease, I believe. It's a little silver bottle. I was out of it, so... I looked to see what was on sale and this was on sale at Walgreens and I would definitely not repurchase this again. This really sucked. It says that it has freeze hold. It didn't hold my hair at all. Like usually when I go to work in the morning, I put my hair up in a ponytail and I like my bangs like just so. They didn't hold anything. By the time I got to the van, my hair was completely windblown and it just, it didn't work at all. I would not repurchase this again. No way. Jose. I'm going to actually throw my products away when I'm done using them. Okay, so let's get into this little guy. This is by Bath & Body Works, and this is the True Blue Spa Mini Super Rich Foot Cream in the Shea Butter. And I started using this last summer and decided that I wanted to start using it up again because pretty soon we're going to see people's toesies because the weather is getting nicer outside. And this is really, really good to moisturize your feet, um, get them prepared for spring and summer weather. A lot of the times um, people have like dry, scaly, gross feet, and this really helps a lot. This is probably the number one go-to um, that I get in the summer for my feet. Absolutely love it. Um, the scent is just kind of like a shea butter scent. Um, I might have a little bit left in here that, I, yeah, I do. It's just like, I don't know if I can show you guys. It's really creamy. You see that there? It's really creamy and it's thick and I love it. Yeah. Oh, and it has kind of like a minty scent to it also. And I mean, you can use it on your hands, your feet, what else? And then um, let's pick out this soap. This soap is by Bath & Body Works and it is one of the last collections that they have left in the old packaging and the old um, antibacterial soap. I guess the soap that they're using now is not antibacterial. I really um, don't know. I guess they say that the the um, old antibacterial soap carried an ingredient that caused women to have um, um, what kind of problems? I think like thyroid problems, which is like what I have, just like their whole systems like get out of whack. But anyway, this was the uh, pink vanilla macaron or macaroon, whatever you guys want to call it. And um, what I found fascinating about this soap is that it was white and the bottle is actually painted or, you know, tinted pink. Um, I didn't really like the scent of this. To me, it smelled just like a very subdued pink sugar scent. Didn't really smell like cookies to me. Didn't smell anything bakery. It was just like a so-so and I will not be repurchasing that again. 
Um, now let's get into a bathing garden sugar scrub. This is the white chocolate fudge and rock candy. If she ever, ever has this again in her stock, in her restock, I will order three of them right away. Actually, this is like one of my favorites of all time. The bottom layer was this rock candy, and by rock candy, I mean Pop Rocks. It smelled like Pop Rocks. It was like juicy, pungent candy scent. And then um, with the white chocolate fudge, you know, white chocolate, it kind of um, partnered up really well with that candy scent. So you got the sour and the sweet together. And it was really amazing. So that's what that label looks like. And I would definitely repurchase this again. No questions. Hands down, definitely repurchase. Um, the next thing that I have, and I always have one of these in my Beauty Empties because I use these every day. This is the Yes to Blueberries Age Fresh Cleansing Facial Toilettes. And they just come in this bag like this. And it has a plastic cover on it. And you open it up and you get your little toilette out of the bag. Um, there's 25 in here and what I love about these is at nighttime I do like my whole routine like I take all my makeup off I do heavy moisturizers um, everything comes off and everything gets moisturized in the morning I like to do something um, not so elaborate I have very little time to get ready in the morning so I don't really want to spend a lot of time so I use these and these clean off you know the dirt that I get or whatever from the night before and um, what they also do is it has a built-in moisturizer, so it kind of skips a step for me, which is really, really nice. But this says that it's with apple and lemon peel to cleanse and moisturize all in one. Will I repurchase this again? I already have some in my stash, so yes, I definitely will. I use those every morning. Um, the next item that I have, this is an old item by Bath and Body Works. It is the antibacterial cleansing soap, uh, gentle soap in fresh sparkling snow. And I really like this one. I usually buy the foaming, um, soaps if, if you guys didn't know, but I really like this one. It almost has like a, like if silver had a scent, this is what silver would smell like. It's very fresh. It's very clean. It's very crisp kind of like snow it just it's really really good well fresh sparkling snow whatevs but anyway yeah I would definitely repurchase this again this is something though that I would only use in the winter months it is definitely not a summer scent and then oh here we go I have an eyeliner this eyeliner is by Maybelline New York and it is the expert wear brownish black eyeliner and I don't know if you guys can see it's really tiny and it looks like this and actually I have a tiny little bit left it just kind of like this kind of like broke off um, so I just stick it in there I like I said I have a tiny little bit left but I really love this eyeliner it's very easy to use um, if you want to put it on the inner lash or the outer lash it's just it's amazing I love it um, let me just do a little swatch for you guys so you guys can see I love using brown instead of black black to me sometimes can be too overpowering for my light skin and my lighter color eyes so i really love the brown and this one you can you know smudge out really nicely too it's just a really good eyeliner and i will definitely repurchase that again and then i have another item from bath and body works this is the aromatherapy rose peppermint moisturizing foot cream and i will definitely be repurchasing this again this i found in my stash um, of summer things and like i said we have to get our feet ready for the summer and this one is really good this one is thick just like the true blue mini but this one has like a lot of peppermint oil in so i mean if you have stinky feet your feet is gonna smell like peppermint now some people have like sweaty feet problems I don't but I know like one other person in my family does and this like covers stuff up really well um it just says rosemary and peppermint essential oils refreshes and cools this aromatherapy moisturizing cream contains a special blend of essential oils that refreshes and restores tired feet use after returning home from the work day or whenever daily activities leave you feeling fatigued and this was 750 
like I said, really, really old. So I don't know how much it's going to go for now. And then the last thing that I have, this is by The Bathing Garden. And as you guys can see, the label is no longer. I was unsure as to what this was, but I narrowed it down. And this is Pink Cauldron. Um, this was a scent that she used to carry. It is a very beautiful herbal rose scent and it is gorgeous and I loved it. This one lasted me a really long time and I don't know quite why, but it was good. It was very moisturizing, had a lot of oil in it and I absolutely loved it. Loved the scent. If I could repurchase it again, I definitely would. But like you guys can see, well, you can't really see the label kind of got, you know, too used I guess for too long and um, that's why you know you see the watermarks there and then she always puts the um, ingredients on the back of the container as well so thank you guys so much for watching my empties that is all I have for today um, if you guys have any of these products please leave a comment down below letting me know what products you have which ones you like which ones you didn't like and if you guys are going to be buying any more in the near future so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and have a great day bye guys